Some NBA players are borderline insane for some of their ridiculous purchases. Buckle up, because these are some of the things NBA players spend their millions on. On the red carpet premiere of Space Jam A New Legacy, LeBron busted out some brand new bling. Your style has to distinguish you from the crowd, especially on the red carpet for a movie you played the lead role in. But wearing a Rolex that costs around, oh, I don't know, $100,000? That's right, LeBron showcased his fully monochromatic Rolex Datejust Pearlmaster 39. A cool little name, I guess. It's a timepiece that is built from 18 karat yellow gold and features white diamond indices as well as a stunning rainbow diamond bezel. And based on the cartoon-based theme of the movie, I've gotta say, LeBron picked the best day to bring out his new timepiece in front of the public. And LeBron's notorious for his out-of-the-box style too. And I don't know what's more out-of-the-box than what this dude Steph Curry pulled off a few years ago. He's going to make $48 million in 2023, and he's already worth hundreds of millions of dollars. So how about just buying a house? No, I mean a super home, because Steph and his family settled on a 1.2 acre home in Atherton worth an eye-popping $31 million, and that became far and away the biggest purchase of Steph's life at the time, and reportedly the biggest real estate purchase of 2019 in the entire Bay Area. Atherton is notoriously known as the most expensive zip code in the United States, and for being an organically affluent location home to a ton of the world's celebrities. That was just one of his mansions. Yeah, really. Steph purchased this mansion for $50.1 million, a 13,000 square foot home that probably comes with any and everything you can find on Earth. Now, this home, much like Steph's home in Atherton, is mostly all glass from the exterior. But what makes this super mansion unlike any mansion in the world is that the glass exterior gives way to some of the most stunning views in the world. Stunning Malibu views, that is. But it's the view of the Pacific Ocean from Steph's living lounge that would really make it feel like you're at a resort. Seriously. Of course, with the ultimate view comes the ultimate seating area the house's living lounge consists of. There is also a modern minimalist design that provides you with comfortable seating in every corner of the lounge. It's huge and all open, and is topped with a fireplace to make the family time and sightseeing time experience unforgettable. If you make $400 million, of course you're buying a house. Shaq bought himself a beautiful estate out in Atlanta worth over $1.15 million. The property includes two homes, a three-stall barn, and a swimming pool on more than 14 park-like acres. A large workshop is attached to the barn. It also includes a 10-person theater, weight, and game room along with one spacious and luxurious backyard setting. Talk about knowing how to spend your millions. Trust me, after I tell you a bit about KD's car collection, you won't forget this either. I was surprised to find out that Kevin Durant has the most expensive car collection in the entire NBA. Even over guys like LeBron, Steph, and Russ, KD owns a total of eight cars, and the price of owning eight cars for KD is nearly $4.5 million. The prize of his garage is the 1996 Ford GT40, worth $2.5 Dang, is that really necessary, KD? And then he has the Rolls-Royce Phantom that's worth $400,000, and even a Mercedes SLS AMG that's worth nearly 300 k With all those cars, what can I ever be mad about? But if you thought KD's car collection was insane, I mean, wait until you hear about Shaquille O'Neal's collection. And even the story about how he purchased his cars all at once. One of Shaq's first big purchases was the time he bought three Rolls Royces at the same time. Since then, his love for cars hasn't gone away. His garage is packed with huge Ford F-150s, along with everything else from a customized Vador to a modified Lamborghini that fits his big frame. The former NBA star owns an impressive car collection. While there isn't an exact number to this collection, all of the cars combined are estimated to cost around four to five million dollars. To maintain all the cars he owns, O'Neal has to spend 23 grand every month month on gas alone. Shaq once told his hilarious story following his Rolls Royce purchase. One day, I just
just went in. Mike Tyson was in there buying a couple of Bentleys. I had on some shorts and a tank top and flip flops and I said to the salesman, sir, how much does this one cost? He said, can you afford it, sonny boy? I was so upset that I bought three Bentleys right there on the spot. Talk about crazy cool collections. How about a collection of Rolex watches? Back when John Wall was still in Washington with the Wizards, he decided to instantly become very popular among his teammates. After Wall signed a massive extension with Washington worth $207 million, he decided to give each one of his teammates a Rolex President's Day watch. Each watch was worth $40,000. So in total, the gifts ended up costing Wall around $640,000. His teammates seemed to greatly appreciate his kindness, as most of them posted videos and pictures of the watches on social media. And sticking with the theme of kind gestures, Donovan Mitchell's college scholarship to one of his childhood mentors. In another extremely generous act, Utah jazz superstar Donovan Mitchell decided to treat his fourth grade teacher and her daughter to quite the surprise. For starters, Mitchell got them courtside seats to watch his Jazz take on the Atlanta Hawks. Even though the Jazz lost a close game, the courtside seats were already enough to satisfy the teacher and her daughter. But Mitchell was apparently in quite the giving mood. With the help of his foundation, Speeda Cares, he surprised the teacher's daughter with a $25,000 college scholarship. So Mitchell's gesture was truly one of a kind. All right, I'm about to switch gears here from quite a great story to quite the confusing one. But before that, give the channel an assist by hitting that subscribe button really quick. And speaking of switching gears, Scotty Pippen never got the opportunity to do that with his private jet, so a lot of athletes have spent money on aircraft. However, this private jet that Scotty Pippen bought is noteworthy for a couple reasons. First off, he spent $4.3 million on the jet. For a player who made over $100 million throughout his NBA career, this is a a small fraction of his dough. But regardless, one man buying a multi-million dollar private jet is going to raise eyebrows. Secondly, the investment did not pay off as the jet reportedly needed over $1 million worth of repairs to get flying. In other words, Pippin spent over 4 million bucks on a jet that could not fly. Yikes. This is not the smartest financial decision ever made. Scotty Pippin probably learned a ton playing with Michael Jordan for all those years, but clearly Mike did didn't teach him at all about owning a jet like a true master. Michael Jordan purchased a private plane which he carved with his initials and his favorite number 23, as well as a gorgeous design sleek as Jordan himself. From top to bottom, the plane is painted in an urban camouflage that enhances the jet's elegance. Michael Jordan spent $61.5 million on the private jet. It's really fun to see how rich people spend their money. What would you buy if you had Michael Jordan's money? I know, how about a yacht? Yeah, the goat has that too. What might a person's mode of transportation be? A car? A bike? Maybe, but for wealthy oddballs like Michael Jordan, these are not on the same level. To control the water, he spent 80 million on a superboat. Yes, he has 80 million dollars to just throw around. When riding the water, Joy, the boat with the most attractive inside and amazing exterior, appears as if it'll conquer the ocean. The yacht features five decks, each featuring a master suite, bedroom, and living room. Michael also couldn't forget about his basketball practice, so to avoid being late for practice, he purchased a yacht with a basketball court. Don't like things from MJ, of course, but the rest of us? We can only dream of spending millions. But what we can do is hit that subscribe button and watch more Home for Hoops. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and watch the next video.